Hello and welcome to our family workshop. In this video, we are sharing with you five 3D Christmas tree decorations. So to start this process, you mark each project onto the wood itself. So we start off by wetting the wood with a water-based PVA solution. We then use PVA glue on the back of each design and stick it onto the wood itself. The five designs that we are demonstrating include a candle within a flame-shaped surround, a bell, the ichthys, a simple fish shape, a star with a nativity inside, and a heart with a heart-shaped surround. So once we have finished marking the designs onto the woods, we then use our Starbond super glue and accelerant to stack different layers together. In all, we are going to have four layers, so we're going to be able to cut out two three-dimensional Christmas tree decorations at the same time. The reason for this, we need two layers for each decoration. We then proceed across to our pillar drill and drill the holes that will be required for doing the pierce work. Sanding on the belt sander gets the back of these projects nice and flat and makes the process of cutting out slightly easier. Onto the scroll saw and we start to do our pierce work. So we cut out the surround around the outside of the candle and then proceed to do the same with cutting the outline of the flame shape that the candle is contained within. On our second project, we start by cutting out the nativity inside the star and finish off by cutting out our star-shaped outline. The wood that we're using for these projects is some mahogany, some reclaimed mahogany that was given to us with the intention of making jewellery boxes, but it proves perfect for making a project like the hanging decorations. The third project is in the shape of our ichthys design and is a simple outline of a fish shape. But again, we will use two layers afterwards to stick this into the shape of a 3D hanging decoration. We do the same process where we do that internal cutting first of all and then remove the outline surround that is not wanted. A bell shape has that simple outline on the inside to take away and then cutting the outline of the bell shape on the outside too. The final project is our heart surround with that heart protected within. So you start by cutting either side of the heart on the inside and then finish off by cutting the surround that protects that heart. The next part of the demonstration is a critical part of the process because what we do, we take the items that we've cut out and we cut them in half and take out any of the item in the inside away. So in the example of the candle, we cut the candle away and proceed to cut where the gap has been left with the candle, the decoration in half. This process then will be repeated with the nativity scene where we cut that away from the inside of the star and cut the star in half as well as the heart with the surround. The bell and the ichthys do not have internal elements so these can just be cut in half to be used later on and create our 3D decorations. Once this part of the process is completed, we use our belt sander once more to sand everything nice and smooth and refine the finish, but also to make sure that those pieces that have been cut in half have nice flat edges ready for being put back together with the other part of the design. The belt sander is a fantastic piece of equipment for us when it comes to refining what we do. Once we have finished working with the belt sander, we can then start to refine further the product by doing some hand carving to shape the design as we're going along. So the heart, we can include a name, so in this example my wife's name, and add some stop cuts and beverly edges just to refine it as a finished product. 
points. We then go across to putting our 3D decorations together. So we're using our Starbond super glue and the accelerant. Spray the accelerant onto the one part of the design, put some super glue on the other part of the design and stick the two together. Once we have finished working with our Starbond super glue, sticking the different elements of the design together, we proceed back across to our belt sander and round everything off. You have sharp edges and extra little parts of the design that need removing and the belt sander is the perfect way to do it. To complete these designs we have to drill a hole to have somewhere to pass some ribbon through as these are going to be Christmas tree hanging decorations. We also concentrate on the finishing so we add three coats of shellac sanding sealer, rubbing it down in between each coat and applying it in the direction of the grain. This refines the finish as we proceed through the process. Once we've done this, we then add a finishing layer of linseed oil mixed with beeswax, further refining the finished product. The final part of the process is to add that ribbon ready for it to be hung on the Christmas tree. So there you go, that is the process that we use to create 3D style decorations for hanging on the Christmas tree in woods. Let us know in the comments section which one of those designs is your favorite. Which one do you plan on having a go at making yourself? Don't forget, if you wanna have a go at making those, you've got those free templates that you can use on our website. Check out the link in the description. If you're new here and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you know when we upload another video. And we hope that you all enjoy a happy and healthy Christmas and New Year.